Hello everyone, this is CypherDeck, and today we're playing Malik Dorian Project 1999. We're about to take down Lord Rakashir in City of Mist after killing lots of Black Reavers. So the way this is going to work is we're going to have our main tank attack him first. Hopefully everyone is out of line of sight and does not get hit by the AoE because it's going to pull him into a cubby. Once uh, he starts fighting and uh, that AoE goes off, he's going to give the message for us to then assist. And we're going to try to, at that point, burn him down until, uh, burn him down so that we don't get a second AoE. One thing that I did not know until after going over the footage was that in the first AoE, he took our cleric, I believe, down to half health, as you can see right here. And she must have healed somebody, and he must have summoned her, because she then goes down. And I didn't notice it. I didn't, um, I heard, I heard it said over the, um, over our Discord channel, but... I, I, I did not even notice that she died, which was crazy. This fight was just absolutely fast, which was um, the best part about it. And, um, and just made for uh, just a really fun get-together or raid to, to get this epic. Now, uh, because uh, Jemini was not in the DPS group... He, uh, he ended up just having to wait for the the mob to come available to him. So while we're waiting for him to loot his stuff and uh, to see what he dropped, I wanted to just uh, give you some updates. So currently I'm wearing uh, the boots that come out of um, Kale. And I did a check versus the boots that you get from Kale, like the actual... Um, boots that have stats and everything on them already versus the cold ink quest boots and the boots that I have right now uh, from from kale are better so I'm not going to be doing that quest but I have finished the helmet as you can see um, I finished the arms uh, the other night and I have the gauntlets I have the bracers in the bank and so right now all I'm doing is waiting to farm gems for those or at least to buy the gems because of the fact that other classes have procs and use the same gems as I do it means that I am not able to um, I'm not able to buy them at a cheap price they're a thousand a piece for the gems because of the fact that Monks get a click, I believe, and maybe rogues as well. But monks specifically get a clicky for um, throwing stars that have stats on them. So they're usually a little bit more expensive. That said, I'm not really worried about it too much. I'm just having fun being able to do what I do on this character in this guild. And just really, really enjoying it. We do... Playhouse, and we also do arena at least once a week. Um, except this week, we're concentrating on epics, and um, yeah, it's just it's fun. I'm I enjoy it, but you'll be seeing more uh, videos from the raids that I'll be doing, and then I also have some other characters I've been playing um, because of the fact that um, I've been asked to play my wizard with the, the group of guys that I usually group with. So I should be doing videos of those soon. And uh, as you can see here, we are now getting loot information, which is um, the scales or whatever it is that he needed, as well as he gave me the Artemis shield, which I didn't have. I had an Ashbone shield previously, and uh, that, that shield is amazing compared to what I had before. I mean, that said, the Ashbone shield is a really nice item. I had it from level 19 or so all the way up until now. It had uh, 100 hit points, I believe, on it. And it also had other stats. So 
just really, really happy that I got an upgrade. A lot of people usually have that shield by now, but I just figured the Ashbone shield was good enough that I did not need to purchase it. So, glad I got it in the raid. So anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed. I really had a lot of fun here, and um, you'll be seeing more of me soon. This is Cypher Deck. Peace out. Mm -hmm.